Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to have a conversation about that it's okay to miss out. But before we start to talk about the cards that slipped through my fingers recently, let me quickly regain my focus. The kids were running up and down the stairs. And let me welcome every single one of you to the channel. I am really glad you found your way to this video. And that sounded a bit strange, but we're going to keep it. And uh, I would like to ask you to hit the like button if you like the video, of course, to leave me a comment. I'm always curious what you think about the video and if you are not subscribed yet to subscribe and if you are subscribed yet already uh, welcome back folks uh, good good to have you so what I want to talk about today and I'm gonna take it slowly with this subject I want to talk about the fact that it's okay to miss out on certain cards or to miss out on certain magic the gathering products I for example recently missed out on a couple of things because I was focusing on other things and that is okay as well. So technically it's okay to miss out if you are saving up for something else uh, because you can't get everything you want to have. Um, yeah, it's very simple. You can only spend your money once. I know um, there's one uh, follower. Uh, he uh, really, I think, likes that uh, sentence when I use it. Um, but seriously, uh, you can only spend your money once. And if you miss out because the prices are rising and the card that you wanted is gone, or the collector's uh, box you were having an eye on is sold out. And yeah, you are waiting for your next paycheck and you would have probably bought it then, even if it's only a day, a week, or uh, maybe a couple of weeks that you are late to the party, then that's okay. Don't fool yourself into um, thinking that you can get everything you want, especially with Magic the Gathering. Prices will change every single day. Sometimes you get a good deal, sometimes you pay a little more because you want to have the card and that's okay. I've been talking a lot about keeping focus on what you want to get. And for me, the focus was uh, the Mox Jet in February for my birthday. So I didn't get a lot of uh, other stuff. And now in March, I started off heavy with the buy of the um, playset of Ali of Cairo. Uh, the vote you guys did, um, I gave you some choices and you voted for Ali. And uh, yeah, so that is my focus for March. But because of that high focus, I missed out on a card I really wanted to get. I have been keeping an eye on a Wheel of Fortune, an unlimited one, at a certain web store for weeks, maybe even months. I've been looking at it almost every day, if it's still there, if I yeah should buy it it was 500 bucks folks for an unlimited wheel of fortune light plate but still i i doubt i can get it that cheap uh, in the future even if it's like a light or heavy plate uh, version maybe i can but that was in my opinion it looked pretty good on, on on screen there were detailed pictures in my opinion that was a good deal but i let it go uh, and it was really difficult and at a sort of certain uh, point, I checked and it was gone. And I was really bummed out. I thought, ah, shit, I should have ordered this. The price was so low and now I'm never going to get it. But after a couple of days of um, getting myself mad about it, I realized that it's okay. And if there is no opportunity for that card in the future, then there isn't. But uh, yeah, maybe there is, you never know. I got a playset of Ali of Cairo instead, and I'm really happy with that. And it's, uh, yeah, a card I probably will use in the vintage deck or a playset I probably will use in the vintage deck. So it's much better than the Wheel of Fortune in that case, because I already have a, a revised Wheel of Fortune. Uh, so yes, I, I wouldn't necessarily need the unlimited one except for my unlimited set 
So yeah, sometimes you gotta let things go, folks, and that's the way it is. That's with everything in life and without wanting to get philosophical. I know that can be difficult, especially for collectors like us and maybe like you. I, I'm, I'm a big collector, as you know, so I have, I have trouble letting things go. And I sometimes uh, over collect, is that the word? I, I rather keep it than uh, selling it for a price I'm not happy with. And then my motto was like, yeah, collect now, make room later. But uh, with two kids uh, and a cat uh, and a wife that isn't too happy with the collecting uh, hobby, that uh, equation doesn't work anymore. So yeah, sometimes you gotta let things go. What I have to let go as well, I still have the opportunity to order it while we are talking about this. So um, I wanted to mention it and I am a bit caught by the hype. I have the opportunity to order Kamigawa collector boxes for about 205 euros, 210 euros, 215, depending on the web store. In Europe over here, they still are around that price. Some shops uh, have already, um, they already uh, raised the price. Is that the word? Raised? Rose? They already hired the price? No, that's not a word neither. How could I say this? Uh, they already changed the price. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be clever and avoid the words you don't know. Um, they have changed the price to 250 bucks already. But... Um, I think, uh, yeah, uh, 200 bucks, uh, especially with the craziness going on and everybody's opening it and everybody's saying like, yeah, they're gone and they're approaching $300. Uh, dollars. And I see all these videos as well, of course. I don't know. I really like the set. I The only thing I got is a couple of um, pre-release kits because I wanted to play with my friends, but we never got further than uh, the Jumpstart uh, booster box I bought, which was a lot of fun. I uh, made a video about that one too. Yes, I'm going to co-promote my videos, folks. But... Um, I yeah I thought let's maybe order one box uh, or two boxes but this month a month I don't really have the the funds anymore to order more uh, one box probably or two maybe but yeah one would be better is is still within the budget somehow uh, but I actually didn't want to buy anything again this month but it's very simple probably it's uh, beginning of March and probably. When I get my next paycheck, like uh, towards end of March, then uh, the boxes will probably have uh, gone up in price until then. And I assume they will be 250 to 270 euros over here in Europe as well. Now, probably the stores still have some inventory and that's why the prices are still low and people may be a bit reluctant to pre-order and they wait until they're in stock there was one wave i saw that like uh, one or two days ago that arrived that was gone pretty much right away but they seem to get a second wave like mid uh yeah, first first uh third uh, of march so let's see where that is going but i missed out on that one as well or i probably will miss out on that one and yeah, that's okay too. Um, I buy collectors boxes from uh, collector boxes from from time to time, um, especially if I like the set. And in this case, I probably would have bought a couple, um, maybe half a case, uh, if I had a good month financially, maybe a case and put some away for later. But uh, I don't think I can afford it, so I probably have to let it go. And that one. Yeah, that's the balance. Like you can only spend your money once, say it again, but um, the balance between, for me, old cards and new cards, I got that playset of old uh, Arabian Night Rares and that cost me uh, the price of uh, one and a half cases of Kamigawa. And I think I'm happy, more personally, I'm more happy with the four Arabian Night cards than I probably would be with Kamigawa. Uh, and I totally get that it will be fun to open uh, if I would have like a neon card that would be amazing and I probably would be very happy and that um, feeling of opening packs is is incredible we all know that but in general I think it's better 
to um, wait out uh, uh, until the end of or to wait until the end of the month and maybe to miss out uh, then to uh, overspend this month uh, and uh, yeah uh, in the end uh, having problems next month because there will always be something else you can't get next month then so yeah it's 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 a vicious circle you're in because there is always another magic card that uh, that uh, catches your eye um yeah the kamigawa collector boxes folks really awesome stuff but i think i will miss out on them and not because i want to uh, but because i consciously chose something else with more priority to me and with uh, less uh, priority for the collector boxes. So yeah, that was my choice. Um, yeah, uh, one last card uh, I missed out on that actually was part of the voting video as well. And at the moment I decided, yeah, I'm gonna get this one too because I really like it. It doesn't matter if they voted for it or not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really like that card, uh, and I hadn't seen uh, a version like that. I, pff, let's talk about what it was. It was uh, the Lord of Atlantis, and Lord of Atlantis is one of my favorite cards. It was one of my first decks, and uh, yeah, I, I really, I really like the card. I played blue uh, back in the day, and I had a couple of Lord of Atlantis uh, copies, and a couple of Merfolk, and at a certain point. I had the Merfolk Assassin from the Dark and the War Barge and yeah, cool, pretty cool deck. But um, the Lord of Atlantis was on my voting list as well and it was 400 bucks and I thought like, yeah, now I'm ordering the Alis for five, uh, for 1800, almost 500 a piece, uh, 450, 470 and a uh, little, little like that. I think in total it was a little more than 1800, especially with shipping. Then I'm not going to order a lot of Atlantis as well right away for 400 bucks. And when I finally counted the vote and I, in my head, decided like, yeah, I already paying like 50 bucks shipping uh, with uh, insurance and whatever for, for that high price. Ah, let's let's order a lot of Atlantis as well. It was gone. <laughs> I was like, shit, I really would have liked that f f freaking Lord of Atlantis. That fucking Lord of Atlantis, let's say it like it is. Because I really liked the card and it was a nice beta version. And yeah, I um, probably won't get it for that price anymore. So I, I, I'm a bit bummed uh, out that I... Um, missed out on that one because i actually decided to get it and then it was gone a bit uh, the same story as with the with the wheel of fortune which was at the moment i decided after hesitating for so long i said yeah i'm gonna get it and then it was gone <laughs> and a lot of atlantis as well i was like yeah now i finally can order uh because i counted the vote and uh, uh like a day before it was gone so yes um that was uh that was a bit uh a bit of a bummer as well folks uh all in all it doesn't matter uh what you miss out on um it doesn't matter what you can't get uh if uh, you are looking for certain cards they are still around and maybe you will never get them uh, I, I want an Alpha Black Lotus as well, and I'm probably never going to own one, but uh, it is what it is. So take it easy. It is okay to miss out. You only can spend your money once. If you have the feeling that it's too difficult, then just, just shut yourself off from social media for a while. Because often, like with the Kamigawa boxes now, I probably wouldn't be that tempted to get them. Uh, if... Uh, not everybody in the community would be opening them and making a big hype out of it. So shut yourself off for, from certain channels and just think about if it's really necessary to be happy uh, to own these things. So of course it's really necessary to be happy. So I should uh, rephrase that if it's really necessary to own these things to be happy. So yes, uh, in that order, the sentence is correct. Let it go, people. Uh, the Frozen Girls already said that, so it's it's cool. Folks, in the meanwhile, until next time, stay healthy, stay frosty, you all know it, 
and I talk to you then. Bye, folks. Bye.